Good morning, my name is Kamal. On behalf of AISSMS College of Engineering, I, Dr. Deepati Udhankar, Assistant Professor in Department of Computer Engineering, welcome you all for the inaugural ceremony of National Conference on Innovation in Engineering and Technology, NCIET 2020. I am extremely privileged to welcome our chief guest, Mr. Bhavesh Shah Sir, Delivery Manager, Tata, LXC, and guest of honor, Mr. Sachin Maske Sir, Regional Lead, Western Region, NASCOM. Thank you, sir, for your precious time. I am extremely privileged to welcome our honorary joint secretary, SSM Society, Shri Sudesh Shindri Sir. I also uh, uh, welcome uh, uh, secretary, uh, treasurer, SSM Society, Shri Ajay Patil Sir. I also welcome principal, SSM CEO, Dr. D.S. Gormane Sir, HODs of all departments, all faculty members, and dear participants. Light is a symbol of brightness and prosperity. As sunlight expels the darkness of mind, I feel the uh, blessings. Uh, we, uh, I invite all the dignitaries on the dais to take the lamp.
Now, I request the Exhibition Minister of the District, our Chief Guest, Mr. Babishan. Conferences are also they are not publishing papers. 
So this time we have provided the platform to our all UG students, most of the UG students from all the department have participated into this conference. So definitely their skill is improved and definitely they will get lot of knowledge and the deliberation from all other industrial experts as well as the academician through this conference. Also this conference will provide a platform and opportunity to exchange innovative ideas the recent trends in the technological advancement and the future directions in the field of engineering and technology for the benefit of researchers, professionals, academicians, industrial people and the students. It will also help them to update their knowledge, interact with the fellow delegates and enable them to know with the state of the art information on advanced technologies. So it has become possible to organize this kind of the conference because of the strong support and unconditional support extended by our Honorary Secretary Sri Chhatrapati Maloji Raji, Honorary Joint Secretary Sri Sindhe Sir, Honorary Treasurer Ajay Patil Sir. I also would like to express my gratefulness to our Honorable Principal Dr. D.S. Gormane Sir who is always motivating us to organize such kind of the programs. So definitely all the participants will get lot of knowledge through such, through such kind of the conference. I wish everyone a good deliberation and a happy stay at the ASMS CVO. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir. Now, I request all the dignitaries on the dais to come forward for unveiling the proceedings of NCIED 2022 conference. Chemical 
electrical, civil, computer, electrical, ENTC, mechanical, and there are two industry oriented programs, mechanical sandwich and production sandwich, uh, where the students are getting opportunity to work in industry for one year. And that, that is a special of that program. We have PG programs in almost civil, mechanical, chemical, computer, electrical, ENTC. We have research centers, three research centers are started chemical engineering, mechanical engineering, computer engineering and two more are proposed recently which it is completed we are expecting two more research centers and civil and electrical engineering. So we have five uh, research centers and uh, only one is remaining and uh, definitely next year we are going for that also. That is even first which is my own plan. <laughs> I started others first and let my let last. <laughs> but, uh, because this uh, research center will really help for uh, creating the research culture among the students, among the faculty members, and it will really uh, to build a good ecosystem as well as research culture. Definitely, right now, also UZ and PG students are publishing various papers, various uh, conferences, and journals. and uh, of course, faculty, those who are pursuing PhD, part of, material part of publication they are doing, but others are supposed to complete it, we have insisted them also to publish the paper along with their colleagues. So, which is the need of our, and the uh, point, because only the teaching learning process is not uh, sufficient nowadays, and uh, there is apex bodies, they are also expecting there should be uh, skill based education, there should be practical based education, and keeping all this point, I really thank our management, especially our Honorable Sri Arjunaji Chakrabarti, Secretary, Secretary of SSM, Joint Secretary Sindhu Sir, Treasurer of Asia Party Sir, and other members that are uh, continuously supporting, motivating, encouraging us to start various activities, various programs. So, there are a number of uh, chapters in almost all the departments. Just we were discussing that during tea time. And, uh, and because of these students are doing fantastic and they are showcasing their skills and potential, they are bagging the prizes. Prize is not only important, but they are getting the practical exposure to that. We have very strong NSS unit also, and uh, through which uh, under Uttar Bharat Abhiyan, which is initiative of HRD and uh, AICT, uh, we have adopted five villages. And we are uh, providing the technical solution in that villages. Our students and faculty, they are identifying the problems in different villages and uh, we are trying to give the solutions, suggestions. In two villages, this uh, act, uh, we have already implemented. In Malwandi village, uh, our students and they have find the problem of water, drinking water. And then with the help of NGO and uh, to CSR fund, uh, we have installed their water ATM. Uh, and which is a, a really attractive to people. It is a source of uh, revenue for the campaigns and also. Because uh, they have to put buy up five rupees, they will get 20 liter water, pure water. And, and that, 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 uh, initially there, there was resistance from the villagers. Uh, we, were, we were expected 90,000 from them initially for that uh, plant. Uh, some CSR fund was the uh, NSS unit has that fund. But after discussion, they ready to contribute. That uh, started already now. Every month they are getting 15,000 revenue from them. So that, of course, uh, doctors are not happy because the pro health problem is made by <laughs> your water. So that type of uh, uh, support of uh, college students uh, and uh, faculty and of course uh, suggestions from uh, um, Sindhya sir is always uh, giving new new ideas every time we are giving discussions. Right now you have heard that three ideas he has given to me and uh, we already discussed with our head of department also and uh, definitely sir I assure uh, whatever plan you are having uh, for this of uh, Shatapi of Shao Maharaj uh, will, during that period we will definitely will implement. In one, one of the villages Kalyan is there, uh, Kalyan village, Kalyan there was a unit as there. There was a dam which is uh, constructed, uh, a, a good dam at that time but this uh, population is taking care of the water is staying only for two months. Heavy rainfall is there, but it is not cold for the entire because of some leakages. And that our civil engineering faculty and students have surveyed that they have prepared a proposal and it is submitted to the government. And I am very happy to share that government sanctioned 28 lakh rupees for repair of that under that. Uh, that uh, so, such various activities are 
and if this is possible because of the support of our management, even our Bha, Supra, ET Cycle, Garuda, all these schemes, management is provided up to 20 lakhs every year as a sustained money for the students. And uh, students are also collecting uh, donations from the alumni and the industry because a lot of investment is there, a lot of uh, money is required. So this is helping and students are really uh, working hard, they are enjoying and this is uh, beneficial for getting good students during admission also. That, that is a plus point of this activity. So I am not taking much time, we are uh, eager to listen on all of you. Once again, I uh, thank uh, Bhavesh Shah sir and Maske sir for uh, taking your spaces time and coming here for guiding our students. We have good association with NASCOM, we are a member of NASCOM and uh, we are conducting a number of activities. Uh, and they are also providing technical uh, experts for conducting various activities for the students and continuously there is a follow up from their side also and our faculty are uh, coordinating, uh, faculty and their students are getting dedicated to these various activities. So, I feel the participants, those are coming for this particular conference, kindly uh, attend other sessions also because you may get good inputs, some new ideas through the presentation of others. Definitely are going to present your paper and uh, attend it very uh, seriously. It will benefit it to you. You can get good input and you can add in your uh, further project or uh, any uh, concept. So it should not be for sake of attendance and getting certificate. So I always appeal all the participants to uh, be serious and sincere. And uh, this disturb this activities we are expecting uh, many more. So I uh, congratulate all the HODs coming together and uh, going for this conference. And it, now this will be uh, continued in coming years. So third, fourth, fifth. So we are not going to stop here only. This is the beginning of this coming together, working together and providing platform for the students and teachers to work in a group and that, that helps to improve the various aspects and qualities among the students as well as faculty members. So best luck, best wishes and uh, once again I congratulate all the coordinators about uh, this particular activity. Thank you.
ऑल इंडिया श्री शिवाजी मेमोरियल सोसाइटी अवर फाउंडर श्रीमान छत्रपति शाहू महाराज ही वॉज ऑल्सो अ ग्रेट इनोवेटर आई थिंक मोस्ट ऑफ यू माइट हैव गॉन टू दी पनाड़ागढ़ एंड अदर पीपल प्लेसेस यू माइट हैव सीन द पर्टिकुलर सम पर्टिकुलर ब्रिजेस वाटर प्रूफ ब्रिजेस यू नो द इनोवेशन फॉर द डिजाइन ऑफ दैट पर्टिकुलर ब्रिजेस वी इज डन बाय दी शिवाजी महाराज छत्रपति शिवाजी महाराज See more than how many years ago you can realize. Even in that particular bridges, you will not find a single scratch or any tree like people or anything like that in that particular bridges. The angle given for the flow to that particular shape of the uh, at the water plate is so perfect. and really it work it is working till now second part i realized of the britishers about our harrison bridge everybody is coming to that to cm college while coming from the old bombay road then 15 years back pune municipal corporation received a letter that the company harrison bridge who have that done that they said our 100 years of this particular breach and the warranty is getting over they have given the warranty for 100 years so sustain this how it is sustained for 100 years so for any every innovation this sustainability is also a very important factor which has to be considered not for the short term but for a long term way how it can sustain and work so i am coming down again towards the innovation side innovation research and innovation are two different things most of the papers what the students are bringing it up and submitting Our innovation research already established. Innovation is a newly product developed, and that is called innovative person. I want to see you all as an innovative person, not only the researchers for this particular way of innovation researchers. Yes, that is required. The patented products have to be researched for the next. for its next generation for the innovation that creating idea and bringing that idea in a particular implementation that is innovation and for that the student should go ahead with all that particular aspects my dear students you are so fortunate to have more than five only ntc is not there for the research center here you have all the research centers you have very good competence staff here more than 100 phd holders are here with you who can guide you from all the disciplines here as sir said i have given him three projects one is to develop a good ev scooter in our college no techniques no innovation It is just a sense. Sir is going to bring a good kit of two-wheeler EV scooter. You people, guys who are going to make it assembly, that is also skill, no doubt. You know, I always, when in, in my childhood, I always used to know Kalyan while going towards Mumbai. You know, there is a Ullas Nagar station. People used to say in our time, it is USA. Ullas Nagar Sindhi Association, Jugad experts. They can make Jugad of anything. Unko sir dikhao. Yeah, ye banana hai. They will make it. 
no innovation, no special creativity. But this is the idea behind making the thing more easier. And that they are doing. And we used to see that. Illiterate fellow doing something extraordinary in a very few time. Time management is done by him and it is successful in the market. Atoda chap. We don't want to go for that. We want to go with a scientific way. You know, science behind innovation is a must. And innovation is a backbone of the country, mind well. So you are going to create something else than what actually required. In this year, this particular EV scooter, again I will come to the scooter, after successful assembly of that scooter, we are going to get it passed from the RTO. And then, Sir Bormane sir is going to bring 100 kits of the scooter and we are going to make 100 scooters in our college with the name of Chahu. With the Chahu Mara's name, we are going to create 100 scooters in our college and get it RTO pass and we are going to distribute it at a reasonable rate. You people are going to do it. You people, you guys, your students, the, all the students of various faculties, they will come together and they will do it. The second project I have given to him. You know Jalaparani. Well, coming from Sangam Bridge or coming from anywhere, Kula, Muta, Nadi and other, all blah blah, you will see full of Jalaparani. We are going to make a project. I have requested Dr. Burmane sir to make a good project on this particular issue. To view how to remove and get rid of this particular task which is in front of us. You know, you, uh, everybody has seen the JCB, just for Pune Metro also there are JCBs. You know, hydraulic system, mechanical engineer department will come for more forward. You know, you know computerization of that particular system. It, the jaws will pick up the particular jerk journey, they will extract it, conveyor belt will be there, conveyor system will be developed, it will be totally come on the raft, be just behind that particular system and that raft will come to the bay of the river, they will just again hydraulic system will take it out and put it then on the bay of the river. And that project is to be done by AISSMS students with all the faculties together. Yeah, it will require a huge amount of investment. We have already requested Pune Municipal Corporation to finance it because it will be around 5 crore rupees project. Minimum, minimum. I am talking about minimum. So, we are going to do it successfully. After successful succession of this particular project, my dream is to make a good boat club just behind our institution. It is a river. We can create a good boat club. Why only COEP should have the boat club? ASSMS should also have a boat club. And that, this batch of ASSMS will going to work on it. And I am giving a challenge to these boys to make and proceed in terms of that particular activity. We can do it. And that will be, but once you pass it out, you can say, I have created this boat club. That is an opportunity to you all. Get it done. So, my dear students, always be alert, keep your eyes open. Everywhere you have a scope to how to make it a successful story in innovation work. Time study is a very important factor in the industry. When you go to the industry, they put some worker on the particular machine, they make a time study, yeah. He can create a hundred jobs in particular this eight hours work. Then your engineers brainstorming will start how we can reduce that time. For that you have to innovate something changes in the machinery he works. Because the human being he has a limitation to work. How you can reduce that particular process of uh, working and make it uh, 
more competitive and give more production, that is also an innovation. So you have it everywhere, service in service industry, in every activity. So you have seen Zomato and other other systems, just call it, hey, I want to have a good uh, pizza at my home. Okay, you get it. Somebody has put his brain to create that particular system. Now there are so many systems up there, Swiggy and other other systems. They have made, they have not made innovative that system. They are follower of that system. You have a scope to make a good system, service system also, invent some good service system and come forward and make it successful. That will be your successful story. And then others will follow. Uber, Ola, you know all these things are actually time-bounded innovations. So people are not going to buy the car also. I'm telling you, next generation. They are going to depend on these particular activities. So my dear friends, you have good challenges in front of you. Go ahead, be a successful engineer, be a successful uh, innovator. And, and you are, I am confident you will do it. In national level, you will shine like anything. Om Namah Shivaya. Thank you very much. Motivating us. Now I request Dr. Kirti Dakin Madam to introduce our guest of honor, Mr. Sachin Maspesa. Thank you, Very good morning, all of you. I Kirti Dakin. I Kirti Very delighted to introduce our today's guest of honor, Sri Sachin Maspesa. Sir is a versatile leader, having the 13 years of experience experience in project management, operations, administration, project implementations. He, he has he closely worked with central and state government bodies uh, like Directorate of Health and Technical Education, Ministry of Education, NSDS, uh, private universities and many more. He has earned his master's degree in business administration in 2012. Uh, he is continuously uh, providing his uh, service for 2008 through different organizations like Agrobytes IT Services Private Limited as a manager for sales and marketing, then Pratamish Academy of Maramati as an operational manager. Then he worked with different institutions like Seed Infotech, Midcom, then Speedwell Academy. After that, he has joined with a Linden Hand uh, India Pune where he managed or uh, where he managed, founded on 14th secondary schools across the Maharashtra uh, for successful implementation of occasional, occasional education along with a team of 15 different district coordinators. In 2017, he started to work with the Anudit Foundation as a state lead for the Maharashtra state. Uh, Anudit, Anudit Foundation uh, Anudhi Foundation mostly work for the young aspirants who seek for the uh, job from the uh, difficult backgrounds. He has developed 13 such uh, centers for the uh, young youth who are seeking for the job but from the difficult uh, backgrounds. Currently he is working with a NAS form as a regional lead for the western region where he is where he's aimed to, uh, aim to available different digital platform for the skill development for the youth. Uh, currently, uh, you will make available the future skill uh, prime project uh, that will come soon. We would like to hear about, uh, hear about it from, from sir. Then he is continuously serving uh, for social development project for you throughout his career and today as well. Apart from this, he is also in, uh, he, he was ambassador at World Literacy Foundation for 2020. On another hand, he is also interested in sports and contributing in Commonwealth Games Pune 2008. Uh, there is a long introduction for the sir, uh, but yes, without taking further any movement, I would like to uh, request sir, please uh, address the gathering and give, give your motivational words. Thank you.
Thank you for that my introduction, Madam. Uh, Mr. Ketchki, Shinde sir, Shri Ajay Pati sir, this is for Dr. Paul Mani. Uh, my friend Bhove uh, Bhavesh Shah, who is the chief guest for today's session, and uh, all the representatives who has organized this uh, conference, uh, Dr. Bhalke, uh, Mrs. Ikkarthar, Madam, and the uh, entire team. Uh, well, uh, once you hear Dr. Shinde, sir, uh, just a few minutes back, and I'm sure you will be listening to Bhavesh Shah, sir, who is in industry for more than 20, 22 years. I'm sure you should be really excited about what will be the future like and how you can contribute towards the overall development in the engineering and technology sector. And apart from that, how can we contribute towards the overall development of your institute? So I'm here to just speak on a few points that, you know, the topic says innovation in engineering. So what does innovation mean in today's terms? If you go to Google, the terminology says it's something which is innovative, which is you know time bound, cost effective, and most important, it is for the overall betterment of the society. Now, when we talk about innovation, we all know we lack innovation uh, when we talk in terms of India. But in last few years, India has been really doing good, and uh, I'm sure in the contribution from students like you, the faculty members, all the members uh, present in this hall, will definitely will contribute towards the overall innovation for the country. And as I was just mentioning that we will be having some AV scooters uh, to be launched. So I'll be happy, sir, if, if I can book the first scooter from your campus. <laughs> so only 99 scooters are available right now, which is gone. <laughs> Secondly, when we talk about a concept called Make in India. Uh, so my friends, let's be very practical. In India, Make in India is assemble in India. We borrow technology from other countries and then we assemble it in India. So there is a huge scope in terms of innovation in India. How can we contribute towards overall development? We all travel by Uber or Ola, right? We all book hotels, we all order from Amazon. We all know there is no taxi which is owned by Uber. There is no car owned by Ola. But still they are doing a very good business in a country like ours. What is stopping us from you know getting into that kind of innovation? We book hotels from different portals, we know. And a portal like Oyo, they don't own any hotel, right? but still they earn huge revenue. So there is a uh, great opportunity uh, for all of us to contribute in terms of innovation of this country. Next is, uh, I will just mention about one research conducted by BCG in association with NASCOM way back in 2018. And the heading of the research was future of job in India. So when we completed that research, we noticed that the future of job in India is going to change drastically from 2023 to 2030. And most of the jobs will be based on innovation. And when I talk about innovation, the technologies which will be more in demand in next, say like seven to ten years, will be technologies like AI, big data, blockchain, AR, VR, cloud computing, cyber security, wave and mobile technology. So these eight ten technologies are going to change the market very drastically. And I'm sure this is the right time for all of us to upskill ourselves. When I talk about professional, it is upskilling. When I talk about students, it is skilling. We should be skilled enough to be part of this, you know, drastical change which is going to happen in the Indian job industry from 2023 onwards. So my friends, you still have one year of time, you should contribute, you know, towards your own skilling and be ready, uh, industry ready, I would uh, specifically say. So you should be industry ready for next seven to ten years and I am sure you will be contributing towards the overall uh, uh, technical, technological changes happening in the industry. Being a representative from the NASCOM, I would like to assure, I was talking to your principal sir today morning and he mentioned that they are giving compulsory internships to the third year students. And uh, sir has also mentioned our institute is a member of NASCOM. So I can assure you on behalf of NASCOM today that we are there to support you in terms of internships and we are also there to support you in terms of placement. So we are closely working with organizations like Microsoft, Accenture, Salesforce, Cisco, who has also given us an opportunity to have their platform access for the internship. So I would, after this event, I will be having a detailed chat with this person and your training and investment at Vatmar is that how NASCOM can support you. So there is at least everything for uh, everybody, there is something for everybody on that platform called Future Skills Prime, which Madhav just mentioned a few minutes back. 
So I would request all the students, all the faculty to please go through which is kids fine. Uh, first year, second year students can learn more about technology. Third year students can go ahead and look for the programs which are internships best. And also the final year students, I would request uh, they can also go ahead and check out uh, the platform for you know, career based programs. There are programs which will assure you once you complete that program, they will give an opportunity to work for those industries which I just mentioned. So this is how we can contribute as an industry partner, we can contribute towards overall development of your institute and it's a really honor to be here today, especially in the institute where we follow the path shown by Chhatrapati Shahu Maharaj. So I was talking about innovation, we know a dam called Radha Nagari Dam, which is like 100 years old. So I was talking about the bridges built by uh, Chhatrapati Shivaji Maharaj and Chhatrapati Shahu Maharaj, 100 year old bridges. 300 year old bridges, still there is no problem, uh, you know, so think about innovation technology used 300 years back, right? And then we have a road which goes to Sihagar and every 8 days daily repair works. This is our innovation, right? So the wall of the forts are still strong enough, roads are not strong good enough. So there is a huge scope of working in terms of innovation and technology. And lastly, I would like to share, whatever we do as an individual, as a faculty, as a professor, as a student, there is something called giving back to society. So do come back to our campuses when you are successful, contribute towards overall development of your uh, institute. And apart from that, don't forget, whatever we are, whatever we get, it's just because of this society, come back and give back to the society. Thank you for your time and thank you for inviting me. Thank you, sir. Now, I request Ikkar Madam to introduce our today's GPS, Mr. Bhavish. Uh, thank you, ma'am. Uh, we have with us uh, Bhavish Jha, sir. Uh, sir is working as a manager of medical business unit at Tata Electric. Uh, sir is having a professional experience of 20 plus years and he has completed his engineering in electronics from DIT. Uh, he has a vast experience in delivery management and program management, project management, team management, new product design and development of service and product industry in various domains like medical, industrial and consumer. His past experience is with Honeywell Automation for 10 years with diversified role in uh, technical coordination uh, individual technical contribution, team, manage, uh, team management, and product delivery management. Uh, along with technical touch, Sir was also involved in fundraising proposal for an NGO named Spurge. The objective of this proposal uh, was towards the empowerment of wellness of tribal women community. Uh, I welcome Shri Bhavai Sir and request him to address the gathering. Welcome Sir. Thank you ma'am for the introduction. So, first uh, I will take the opportunity to thank uh, Romane sir, Alkar sir and the entire management team for giving me this opportunity to come here. It's actually an honor and after hearing the ideas from Chinde sir, I would right now feel that I could have been part of new people to participate in that project. Uh, design, develop those three ideas and make it a reality. So really inspired by the three very good ideas and the, this particular initiative where all of you are getting opportunity to think of some idea, write it down on a paper and present it to your colleagues. And I'll tell you as per my experience, this will take you a long, long way. This is going to develop, give you a skill which will take you far along in the industry. So before that, uh, I will just quickly give, give my thoughts about how do I look at this particular uh, conference or the event? First of all, you will see suddenly after this COVID, uh, you are hearing so many buzzwords. Examples, people are talking about digital transformation and also sir mentioned that uh, people are talking about artificial intelligence, automation, then metaverse. Everything is coming on our way, right? Uh, even people are talking about you know uh, driverless cars, all these things. So all these are basically innovation. 
and why each and every organization, each and every entity in government uh, is focusing on the innovation is to make the human life or even living beings life better to give them kind of a comfort, happiness and also try to give back to the entire environment in which we live to make it sustainable. So every innovation will be backed up by either of giving or making the lives better or making our environment sustainable so that we all can enjoy this particular nice earth for many, many, many thousands of years to come. Now, with this concept, what it tells us is that every innovation basically should solve a specific problem. Then only it will be successful. It cannot be just a technology which I like that XYZ technology, I build something. Innovation will be successful when, as Sir said that, he has a clear vision about Pune City. Uh, I think the river conditions or we talk about the EV pollution and connecting it to EV. So clearly if you think, here also his expectation is that we solve a problem. So innovation should solve a specific problem for a specific domain. So that is how the innovation will be looked at. Otherwise that innovation no one will want only. So if you now see how do we solve the problem and I would like to connect that approach to this particular conference. Solving any problem uh, requires multiple disciplines to come together, think about it, share the ideas and it will get solved. Right? It cannot be one single entity like I am an electronics engineer and I will only build electronics to solve the problem. It is not going to work. And I will take a very simple example of uh, Shindesar's electric vehicle. So if you consider electric vehicle developing right from scratch, take yourself back five years, nothing was an existing concept of you know battery operated car, battery operated tool that was not existing. And now you start thinking which are technologies involved. When you start with electronics, microcontrollers and the battery chargers. These are the two components must. So electronics engineer and technology will come into picture. Next, motors. The ECU and the engine is going away, motors are coming into picture. Immediately our electrical engineering field is coming in. Next part, battery, the heart of the entire electric vehicle. Electronics engineer cannot develop battery. Chemical engineering processes will come into picture. Right? Now how do you drive this and control this car? Entire control systems engineering comes into picture. Algorithms to run, break the glass, etc. Software, AI, artificial intelligence. So this is just one example where mechanical engineering, the entire in internal body features, external safety features, mechanical engineering is coming into picture. So now if today I decide that I am the only one electronics engineer who will develop some product, it will not work. I will innovate alone, it is not going to work. This simple example is telling us that all the technologies from multiple streams will work together integrated, gets integrated together, then only you will be able to innovate to solve someone's problem and that innovation will be valued in this particular world. And when I see this particular conference, it is exactly giving you this opportunity to come together, listen to each one's ideas, someone is from chemical engineering, someone is from electronics, someone is from manufacturing, mechanical, right? So they will talk about their ideas and as sir also mentioned, you participate, listen to others collect those ideas, share your views and also connect these dots. If you connect all these, some of the thoughts which are presented in this particular conference, if you connect them, I am sure that you will be able to solve very complex challenging problems which involves many many disciplines together. So this is actually building a culture in you to not only learn your domain but go to the adjacencies where you need to know. Once you know the other domain, you are able to talk to those engineers, share your thoughts and try to solve the problem. And I seriously look at this conference as an excellent opportunity to think, to collaborate and together solve the problem. Additionally, it is giving the opportunity to write down those white paper. Practically, I see in the industry, whenever people are solving the problem, you ask them to write down what you did so that the next team members, when they have to solve similar problem, they can refer to your idea and take it to the next level. It is so difficult even for the experienced engineer to write down a white paper in a way that someone who has not seen what you have done should, will read and will be able to understand. So this conference is also giving you an opportunity to think methodically and put down those points so that anyone can understand. And second, third part of it is communication. You have, you have nice idea, you have implemented, you are able to write it down. But if you cannot communicate, then none of the other people in the world will understand this. If no one understands, probably your idea will remain with you. 
So again, this conference is going to give you opportunity to communicate, right? So I, I am 100% sure that people who are 100% participating in this event will really take a lot of value from this and you will always remember in the industry that yes, I participated and then learn from there and I am able to take it forward. So with this, I would like to say that uh, really you guys have a very good opportunity to participate and learn. At the same time, I would like to you know, sincerely appreciate the entire management team, faculty, staff, everyone to take this idea forward and actually executing it for two consecutive years. And definitely, I would also be like uh, like to be part of this event next year also. So, so sincerely appreciate and I will give my own best wishes to all the participants, faculty and the committee who is organizing all this to make it a grand success. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir, for your inspirational words. Now, I request Ipkakar, Madam, to propose vote of thanks. Uh, thank you, Madam. Uh, I, Mrs. Anna Ipkakar, coordinator of NCIT, take this privilege to present the vote of thanks for the inaugural function of NCIT 2022. <coughs> On behalf of ASSS College of Engineering and conference team, I thank our chief guest, for the today's function, Sri Bhavesh sir, guest of honor, Sri Maske sir, Sri Sindhya sir and Patil sir for being here with us. I wholeheartedly thank Sri Maloji Raja Chatrapati for being a guidance source for us. Uh, I extend my thanks once again to Sri Sindhya sir, Ajay Patil sir, Vishwas Patil sir and Sri Bhagavad Rao Sarvaki sir for their valuable inputs and support. Thank you, Dr. Mohanle sir, for accepting our invitation as a keynote speaker. I would uh, also express my gratitude towards our advisory committee for their continuous help. A conference like this cannot take, happen overnight. It requires a lot of planning and execution. We are fortunate enough to have backed with a team of very motivated and dedicated colleagues in our institute. Our inspiration and motivator, Dr. Borvare sir, and a team of dynamic HODs of all departments. I thank all of them. I express my thanks to Dr. D.G. Bhalke sir, uh, conference chair, uh, who has put forth this idea and uh, took an initiative in organizing the conference at the institute level. I express my gratitude to the reviewers, the session chairs, the session coordinators, uh, for their support to make the conference a grand success. I wholeheartedly thank all the department coordinators, especially Dr. Uzramkar, Dr. Vakmare, Dr. Marwar, uh, V.S. Pongshya sir, uh, S.S. Kalurkar, and Tarikar sir, and Dr. Upasni, and all the student organizing team for their coordination and unending help for organizing the conference. Our team, NCIT, has worked a lot, and I thank all of you. Thank you. Not last but the least, I thank all the authors who have registered and are presenting their papers in the NCIT 22 conference. Thank you all. Uh, I request all of them to be seated because we are having a keynote session uh, as a next session. Thank you, sir.